You know, as one of the founding members of IDPA, one, I can remember one of the things we talked about, we didn't want IDPA to turn into an equipment race. We wanted the guns to be utilized pretty much the way they're issued or the way they're commonly come out of the box. We allowed some modifications, but we didn't want it to turn into a Rooney gun uh, competition with pistols that didn't reflect reality. One of the interesting things about Breda pistols and in IDPA stock service division, when, Breda, when IDPA first started, Breda's real popular. I can remember even Bill Wilson as a real 1911 guy shooting a Breda 92 in the early days of IDPA. I shot one for a while. The truth of the matter was they really were, were popular guns. Very reliable, very accurate, easy to shoot, soft recoil impulse. The key thing to remember is you've got to be careful what you do to modify your pistol to keep it legal for stock service. Every competition has rules about the guns and the modifications, all the things you can or cannot do. In IDPA, they're fairly specific about certain things can be done, certain can't. You can enhance the sights. This pistol, for example, is equipped with a Wilson Combat battle sight, and this one has a tritium front, but you can, Wilson Combat can put a fiber optic on it, so you've got enhanced sights. They do an action job. They basically do the trigger job, so you've got a really nice double and single action trigger. This is an M9A1, a currently available gun from Beretta, by the way, very good pistol. Comes from the factory with a checkered front strap and back strap and a bevel magwell, so IDPA legal. It has a Beretta manufactured extended magazine catch, so Wilson Combat can put this on your pistol. It's factory issue, factory part, no big deal. They can convert the gun, if you like, to a G-series decocker. Factory original parts, legal conversion. Everything about the gun is done to make it IDPA legal, but it enhances the shootability and the use of the pistol to the point where anybody who's serious about shooting a Breda in IDPA competition probably want to check out Wilson Combat and the package they offer. This one has, for example, the Wilson Combat grips, which give you a really good gripping surface. Overall, this is a real practical gun. One that you can carry in your holster every day, but most importantly, one you can shoot an IDPA competition and be right on for an ideal Beretta.